Well, it's now time to do the sports news, and it is not me who is doing the sports news. It's Karen Kibeto is on the other side of the studio. That was it for the business news. My name is Betty Kiptum. Do have yourself a lovely night, Karen. Thank you, Betty, for keep, keeping us up to speed with the latest in the world of business. Let's now delve into much of sports. My name is Karen Kibet. Now, the two-time world champion Helen Oberi clocked 31 minutes and 50.22 seconds to win the women's 10,000 meters race during the National Athletics Trials at the Moi International Sports Center, Kasarani, in Nairobi. Meanwhile, Nicolas Kimeli clocked 13 minutes and one seconds to win uh, the 5,000 meters men's race and joined the qualifying group. Obiri took charge of the race from their own set. The world champion controlled the leading pack that comprised of Sheila Chepkirui and 2019 world champion silver winner Margaret Chelimo. Obiri crossed the line in 31 minutes 50.22 seconds, while Shehila finished second in a time of 31 minutes 50.73 seconds, while Margaret Chelimo completed the podium dash. Nimeona ni vizuri at least kuja kupata the upcoming hiyo motivation ni wakiona Helen yako hapa huwa nasiona vizuri so nimesema sababu ya spirit huwa naenda road races sometimes i need spirit so nimekuja at least nione fanya mwili iko in another race Nicholas Kimeli posted 13 minutes and 1 second to win the 5000 meters men's race ahead of Jacob Crop and Cornelius Komboi who settled for the second and third positions respectively the race was good. Uh, you have enjoyed the best. The best was not too far, too tough. It was not sunny. It was so cloudy, you mean. So the weather was so perfect. It allowed me to run very easy today for the day to qualify for World Championship in Oracon. Come next month. In the 400 meters final, 800 meters Olympic gold medalist Emmanuel Coril emerged victorious in a most tensed race which saw William Ryan disqualified. The trials will end tomorrow at the Mo International Sports Center Kasrani. For Easy Friday Sports, I'm Daniel Moendwa. Thank you, Dan, for that report. Moving on, the Kenya Ports Authority stretched their unbeaten run to 12 games in the Kenya Volleyball Men's League after beating GSU 3-0 in a match played today at the Nyaya National Stadium. The Coastal team ended GSU's dominance in the league, beating them in three straight sets of 25-22, 25-14, and 25-17. <laughs> KPA made the most emphatic statement about their title credentials this year after playing second fiddle to GSU and Kenya prisons in many years and were clinical against the defending champions who had dominated the early stages of the opening set. The Dockers had romped to a 3-0 victory Thursday, while GSU, who were eight points behind the leaders, having played two fewer matches, saw off AP Kenya with the same margin. It was the first straight set league defeat for GSU since 2014 and KPA head coach Sami Molinge said good preparations and determinations were the main trick used to secure the win. <laughs> GSU coach Gideon Tarus was quick to loud KPA even as he vowed to put his charges back on the rails. KPA remained top of the table on 34 points ahead of the league's climax. In another match, KDF got back on track with a 3-1 set win over Nairobi Prisons after losing 3-1 sets against the Trails Blazers on Thursday. For Easy Friday Sports, I'm Daniel Mwendwa.